Good morning. It is 8.30 on Monday, August 10th, the day before Sawyer and I's six year anniversary. I just got back from a run. I've been trying to run and get better at that. Um, I realized home workouts aren't my jam. Um, I really like going to the gym, so I've been challenging myself well, for like the last week to get out of the house and try running, so we'll see how that goes. But like I mentioned, tomorrow is our six year anniversary and looking back, it's crazy how fast six years went by. Like looking back, I still remember exactly how Sawyer asked me to be his girlfriend, um, the month of dating before that, and just how fast everything has flown by, like six years. I mean, so much has happened. Now look, we live in Hawaii, but yeah, we were just babies. Sawyer was 24, I was 20. Anyways, six years later, Sawyer and I now live in Hawaii, so, this is our little six year anniversary vlog. I wanted to vlog this because I asked for something really special for our anniversary present. So ever since we bought the house, we use like every holiday or every special event as an excuse pretty much to get something done around the house. It's kind of been our gift to each other every you know birthday or whatever. So for this anniversary, I asked for a garden. I wanted to try gardening in our backyard since we have time on our hands and I just thought it would be a fun little hobby to try out. So once I mentioned that, Sawyer loved the idea and got really creative and started to build plans and he created the design. I just showed him a few pictures on Pinterest that I liked. So I'm very, very excited to build it and to try this and to do this with him. It'll be a fun little project and something that we can work on together in the backyard. So this vlog, I'm gonna take you along on that journey of building our perfect little garden in Hawaii. So I got dressed, just went to the doctor and got back. So Sawyer and I are going ahead to to Home Depot to start this process. Um, I'll show you guys the little clip yesterday of Sawyer drawing out the garden. It was really, really cute. Um, insert that clip here. <laughs> what am I having you do? We are building you a garden. <laughs> Six years of sticking with me, building you a garden. I mean, this drawing already is probably better than what I could actually do. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> That's it. The, these four boxes, these will be walking stones, pathway, with a little hose and stuff anyway. That's what the boxes will look like from the side, but these actually won't be there. It'll be a nice lip. There's an 18 inch walking path from the back and then in between these four big boxes, they're gonna be four two by fours tall, 24 inches wide. That's what they'll look like on this long side. And then hang lights back and forth over the top and then paint it all white. <laughs> And um, yeah, I've never done this before, so. I never have either, but I wanted a little farmhouse garden, so. Husband goals. So now that you guys have seen the plans that Sawyer created, um, I'll also share that with you guys um, in a photo. So you guys, if you guys wanna build the same garden, you guys can. <laughs> but first I'll show you guys a little before of the area that we're going to build, and then we'll head to Home Depot. So we have this awkward piece of land <laughs> right by the shed. So I thought it'd be the perfect spot for a little garden to test it out. So we're going to... Watch your head right there. It gets That's me every time. That's an avocado tree. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, so we're gonna build the garden right here. And Sawyer, as you guys saw in the plans, it's gonna be four little boxes with little stones and white rocks. And then we're gonna build a little gate so that way the dogs can't eat all the vegetables. Um, yeah, this is gonna be my little garden spot. Oh, I'm so excited. It'll Me make, too. It'll make great use of this area. We had no idea what to do with it otherwise. It's yeah, this worked perfect. Do we have white paint? Can you check? To Home Depot. This is my let's go build a garden outfit. So you're asking me if I was a train conductor. Same I said, thing. no, we're building a garden. <laughs> is that your build a garden outfit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we made it into Home Depot. We have our flatbed. We're gonna head over to Lumber and get the wood done first.
Okay, so we just loaded the car up from Home did Depot. We, did we do that? <laughs> we did it by we. We mean him. <laughs> it's middle of summer and yeah. hot. It's a little hot. Um, anyways, we got the lumber today and a saw and some paint and screws. We didn't get some of the stones and like stepping stones that we wanted, so we're gonna have to find those. I know the dimensions are, so I'll just mark them off. Yeah. Placeholders. Yes, but we got the wood, so we're gonna start there and I'm gonna head to the hardware store over by us, but Home Depot, done. Thanks, babe, for doing all that. <laughs> I'm excited, yeah. I hope it works out. Me too. It'll be fun. So right as we pulled out from Home Depot, Lowe's is literally right behind it. So I'm going to head into Lowe's and see if they have the stepping stones we need since it's right here and it's not on our side of the island. So BRB, let's see if they have it. That's my garden. Those are too big. Those are what I need, but they only have red and so did Home Depot. So I'm going to have to keep looking, but I need those smaller. Grr. Whoa, that sun is bright. <laughs> we are back home. I just stopped at my mom's and picked up a saw that we needed for tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna go into Target and get Sawyer's anniversary card and a few other little things. I'm gonna see if they have like string lights. This might be more of like an Amazon purchase because I need them to be solar. Anyways, um, we're gonna go check out Target real quick. Okay, I totally forgot to film in there, but I got Sawyer a really cute card and they ended up having this little wood box in their dollar section. I thought it'd be really cute. I don't know what for, but I grabbed it. Um, no lights, no string lights. So I think I'm gonna have to go to Amazon for that one. But that is it. That is all we found today. Today was a good day. Tomorrow we put it all together. Good morning. As you guys saw, I just wrote my card for Sawyer. Um, this year, like I mentioned, we aren't doing anything crazy for our anniversary. We just wanted to build the garden. And it was actually kind of funny. Normally he gets me flowers for you know birthdays, anniversaries. And this morning he woke up and said, I didn't get you flowers this year because we're building the garden and this is an opportunity for you to grow whatever you want. And I was like, okay, that's a really, really cute. So the garden is gonna be the gift that keeps on giving, which is kind of fun. I'm really excited to do this. So it is now like 11.30. I just posted a really cute Instagram with some of my favorite memories of Sawyer and I. And then Sawyer is just going over the plans for the garden. And one of our friends is gonna come over who actually built a garden in his yard not too long ago. So he's gonna help Sawyer like cut the wood and kind of do all the manly stuff since I'm not great at that. <laughs> I can't believe six years has gone by. Like when I was writing that card, it was kind of all over the place. Um, I just kept rambling, but it just like made me realize six years is a lot. Like when I look back at our photos, like we were babies. And to think of everything we've done in six years, like we've traveled the world, we bought a home together, we moved to a different state. Um, we have two wonderful dogs together. Like it's crazy. We've literally grown up together. Like I wrote that in our card and like, I'm really excited. Like, oh my God, I might cry. <laughs> to think of everything we've done together the last six years and like where we are now. I'm so excited for the future and just to see where it goes. Like it's just it, half of this, actually none of this I expected when Sawyer walked up to me at that random party that night in July, 2014 um, and to now be August, 2020. And just like, I never expected any of this. So, Life with him is truly an adventure. He is a kid at heart, and I'm so not a kid at heart, so he keeps me young, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, um, now that I'm crying, I love you guys, good morning. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go bug Sawyer and see what our plan is to build this garden. You guys made me cry, I started talking about feelings. So it's gonna go right there, and it's gonna be four boxes with a little path in between, so it's not gonna to be too big. Don't come in here barefoot because there's broken glass and stuff. Oh, okay, I'll have to go Good get shoes. Right. Are you gonna help me garden? Uh, sure. <laughs> we are outside. My mom stopped by to say hi. So we're showing her the garden. And now Sawyer and I are going to- Oh, I'm in, the, I'm in the line of fire. Now Sawyer and I are going to mark out the garden so you kind of know what we're doing before we go to the hardware store and our friend comes over to help him cut wood. How cute! 
It'll be such a cute little garden bed. Because we thought about that, but then we're like, let's see. Let's hope Anja can keep it alive. Like, let's start here. <laughs> let's do a practice Yeah, let's, let's see how this goes before we do our whole backyard as a garden. Hey, your dogs are still alive. That's good. They're kind of hard to kill. Of course, you kill your indoor plants. So step one is to mark off the garden. Step one is to do all of the math so that you know what you're marking off. This okay. is just so that she can see it. You don't have to step do this. Step one of today. Yeah, once you know mathematically yeah. what sizes the boxes are, you just make the boxes <laughs> and then you put them in later. Yeah, so that's what your garden will look like. I think that'll be so cute. Yeah, box, 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 walkway, walkway. Yeah. Paint them white. not finished product. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. Just drop the camera. So all the wood is now in the backyard. Sawyer's just gonna measure everything out and then we're gonna start cutting. We're gonna make one test one first and right. then just see if it fits everywhere and then I'll remake it three more times. be more or less like that, but a square. Four of them. Is that okay? More of a what? I mean like, but actually yeah. square. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. Oh, it'll be cute. So it'll come to like right there? Well, one, two, three, four. Like that, and then it'll have another inch lift. So it'll be about knee high. Yeah. It's like Minecraft. So we're just putting together the first box so that way we can put it in the area and make sure everything looks and works correctly. But it looks so cute already. Oh, I know I've already said this, but I'm so excited. Yes! Oh my God, it stripped right at the end. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, so they'll be that high, they'll be four of them. Little white rocks and little stepping stones, cute. So we just put the first box in to make sure everything was looking right. And it looks so cute. And it's not even white, sanded, or filled with anything yet. So while Sawyer finished cutting all the wood, I headed to the hardware store and grabbed some more screws as well as some more spray paint and a treatment for avocado tree because I found some insects on there, lovely. Um, and then I also grabbed some new stepping stones. The stones that you guys, or that we showed you guys earlier, those are broken ones from a long time ago, so they're really, really gross. Those are just like junk ones. So I grabbed some new ones um, that'll look really clean. And then the white rocks that I normally get from our local hardware store, it's like the white marble chips, um, they were out of. So I'm very sad about that. I have them out by the lime tree and I absolutely love them. Um, so I want those back there as well, just to complete the look. So um, we'll just have to wait for those to come back into stock. And then I just got word that we're gonna finish these tonight. Um, Sawyer so was really exhausted after cutting all that wood, which I don't blame him, it was so hot. And I just sat there, so. Um, anyways, he said that he is gonna finish them tonight, so tomorrow we can um, fully finish them. <laughs> They're coming along so nicely. I'm not cooking today, he's not cooking today. 
So we ordered Italian food. Actually, this is where we went last year for our anniversary. We just dined in, but. Oh my God, I manifested it. No, we ordered it. I also it. stole one of your scrunchies and tired. I know, I saw that. But okay. it long. Anyways, this is our anniversary dinner, Italian food at home, which is a great idea. We're just gonna go watch Netflix, be cute. Anyways, we've been watching Yellowstone, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> so we just finished dinner and Sawyer's continuing the boxes. We wanna get them built tonight, just that way they're built and then we can finish them up tomorrow or over the next few days. Babe, I'm really proud, they do look good. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so we have a thought. Now that they are in here, and looking at them, we might raise it one more two by four so that way you're not bending down as low, as well as I feel like it'll just kind of complete it. I don't know, I feel like one higher will make it look a little better. We might have to go get more wood, but yeah. Okay, I probably don't need my hat anymore. <laughs> it's literally like 7.30. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the day here. Um, so I just finished the fourth box. So we still have a lot of work ahead of us, but the boxes are built. So now it's just kind of like doing the final details, getting the dirt, plants, all that. Um, but yeah, I'm so proud of how it looks. It's just gonna make this area look so much better. Um, one thing we are going to do is figure out the shed at some point um but just right now it's just not a priority and so this is just going to be fun and kind of liven up this area um so yeah i'm excited for the backyard to fully be done but for now we get a garden in the meantime which will be so fun so anyways four boxes are built i'll see you guys tomorrow when we do a bunch more stuff <laughs> see you in the morning Good morning. We just came out to the garden and Sawyer had moved the fence to the other side. We are going to build an actual fence um, now that this is here, but for now we just want to keep the dogs um, contained. So we moved the fence so that way we can go in and out and make it a little easier. And we did decide that we are going to add one more set of two by fours in all the boxes so that way they're a little bit higher. So we are going to head to Home Depot today. Um, as well as just continue to work on them. We need to sand and paint them and start there. I feel like this is something I'm really gonna like, especially being here in Hawaii and being outside all the time. This like gives me something to do and take care of. So I am excited for that. Um, but yeah, good morning. Let the day of garden boxes begin. So we just went to the hardware store and got the, <laughs> the last of the lumber that we need to finish the boxes. Um, making them taller. Making them taller. Okay, so we got all the wood to the backyard. We are just measured it, and now we're. As you can see, now we're cutting the wood. <laughs> We're just putting the final layer on and then I will get sanding. And if they look a little leaning, it's because I built it. Honestly, too? There you go. Because the stakes are, on, are probably uneven. Yeah, so well, uh, that's a great reason why it happened. Yeah. We um, did it. We did it. That's, that's not so bad. Nope. So now I'm going to sand them down. Make them look pretty. Then we'll paint them tomorrow. Yeah. Then I'll line them with a liner cloth that also promotes drainage and not clumpage. Yeah. And then we have no idea what we're doing, so leave, leave comments on gardening. Yeah, if you have any tips or tricks on how to keep plants alive, let us know. Uh, my two-day project has now come to a close. I'm going to let her sand these. I'll see you guys one more time to paint. Okay, I've never sanded anything in my life, so we're gonna test this out. Um, we just got a sander from Home Depot and I'm just gonna get sanding.
Okay, safety first. Um, make sure you're wearing glasses when doing this. I just got sawdust in my eye. That was not fun. Okay, back to back to sanding. Oh my gosh, she just almost fell down the stairs. Anyways, um, so I finished sanding for tonight. That is a cute little boxes. Um, I have to go get more sandpaper for the little sander, so I will finish that tomorrow. Um, but I'm so proud it's going to look so good. I don't know why I'm like so excited about this, but just fun, you know? It's like a, another thing for me to take care of. <laughs> Good morning. We are headed to Home Depot where we just arrived. We're gonna go get dirt today, more staples for our staple gun so we can do the lining, and spray paint so we can paint. Today's very exciting. Getting it done. How do you feel, babe? How do you feel about our garden? This better not <gasps> steal my spot. Oh, that's how we feel. That's how we feel. <laughs> I'm driving. Finishing the garden. Yeah, finishing the garden. Okay, bye. <laughs> So Sawyer decided to grab an actual circle saw. Um, we a realized tabletop saw. a tabletop saw. We realized the one that we were using was not good for this project. <laughs> so we upgraded for the next project. More spray paint and more sand. We got home from Home Depot and we got some new toys. So I quickly wanted to share with you guys what tools we used for this project because why not? Um, I got a new toy too. Yeah, he got a new camera. <laughs> um, okay, so for the sander, because I got some DMs asking like what sander I use, which Who's I thought- in your DMs? Some girl. Some girl was like, what slander do you use? What slander? <laughs> no, slander, slander in the DMs. No, it's... Someone tell TMZ. No, where is the sander? So for the sander, I grabbed, well, sorry, I grabbed this little Roby. I didn't pick the sander, he did. We got this little Roby sander. Um, it is the, this guy. Roby. This little guy. And we just got some more replaceable sanding pads, I guess you call them. Um, so I'm gonna finish the boxes today because I ran out of sandpaper yesterday. And then to cut the wood, we used this Roby circular saw, but, but to be honest, it kind of overheated really easy. It got really smoky. It was not maybe meant for this big of a project. It's maybe just one you keep on hand for like small projects. So today when we were at Home Depot, Sawyer got a bigger Roby, this Roby saw. And this one you can cut angles. It's easier, it's faster. So we're gonna test that one out today. But those are the tools that we used for this project. Oh yeah, you need a tape measure and some screws too. I'm gonna get sanding now. Okay, it's been like two hours and I'm finally done sanding. I highly recommend, so you don't have to sand as long to get a good saw like we got just now. Um, I wish we would have had that when we would have cut. It would have made the sanding process so much easier. Um, I'm glad I sanded them. It um, makes a huge difference, so I would highly recommend that as well um, when you do yours, if you do yours. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to start painting. I don't know if I'll get all four done before the sun goes down. It's already like six o'clock, so I'll probably just get like maybe one or two done, but I just want to get this project done so bad, so let's get spray painting. Okay, note to self, um, we just got spray paint because we thought it'd be easier. It takes a lot of paint. Probably would've been easier if we just got like exterior white paint, but lesson learned. Um, so I'm gonna finish with this one. If it's just too much, I might just go get a can of paint for the rest, but I already started this one, so spray paint it is. The first box is completely done. I am gonna let that dry probably overnight. Oh my gosh, I have spray paint like coated in my hair. Oh great. And then tomorrow I'll paint the other three as well as I did find the white rocks I was looking for. Um, they just had to transfer them from a different store so hopefully those arrive tomorrow. So I can paint, put in the rocks, we got dirt. This project kind of took longer than we anticipated but it's 
gonna be worth it. I know it, I'm very excited. Okay, well I'm gonna go cook some dinner and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, well I guess good afternoon. It's already two somehow. Um, my day kinda got away from me. This morning we got a new air conditioning in our master bedroom. Um, so that took up a good chunk of the day. But I just went to the hardware store. They ended up having my rocks. They had them transferred from a different store so I picked those up as well as got actual paint, no spray paint. Initially we thought the spray paint would be easier but I think they'll look better um, with like normal paint, like exterior paint, cause it kind of like fills in the gaps of the wood as well as makes it a little shinier. I got gloss. So anyways, went with the regular paint, got all the stuff for that. Now back to finish painting those darn garden boxes. This is a, this is a project guys. I did not anticipate this. <laughs> This is the paint that I got. The gal had recommended getting the pastel base because it's a little more white, like a vibrant white compared to white, which makes no sense, but whatever. So I followed her lead and got this. I got my paint brushes, but I wanted to show you guys the reason why, oh my gosh, there's a wasp. <sighs> nope, I'm out. Nope, 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 nope. I don't do well with bees if that didn't give it away. I don't know how I'll do gardening with bees, but wish me luck. The reason why I wanted to go with normal ex exterior paint versus spray paint, this wasn't really filling in the gaps. It just looks spray painted, which obviously isn't the goal. So um, I'm going to start painting now and getting that done. Hopefully I can get all four boxes done today. I have high hopes. I'm not gonna give up till they're done. Okay, so it's already like five o'clock, so I'm kind of racing against time. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna do the best I can to get these done tonight. So my plan is to get like the front and the sides that are gonna be showing done while I have sunlight. I can always paint the backs and the insides while um, like the sun is setting. I don't need like perfect lighting. So I'm trying to work fast because I wanna get this done so it can dry overnight. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, all four boxes are fully painted with the first coat. Um, I still have a little bit of light, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the second coat. Um, yeah, this was a way better idea than spray paint. It looks so much better, and it's kind of sealing the wood as well, so that's good. Um, yay, now to paint the second coat. <laughs> Ollie just got into the paint. He rubbed up against something, so now Sawyer's covered in paint. Nice going, pants. That's pants, right, covered on, in paint. Right. Guys, I did it. <laughs> All four boxes are painted. Second coats are done. I'm gonna let that dry overnight and then touch them up in the morning if I need to, but they look so good. Wow, that took longer than I anticipated. I am covered in paint literally from head to toe. Um, so I'm gonna go shower and we'll just pick up this project tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. Today is August the 16th, and today is going to be a big day in the garden. <laughs> the boxes are finally painted, they are dry and done, and we have the rocks and soil and all that. So my mom and her husband are coming over to help us um, load the rocks and the soil out of the truck, just to make it easier, have some extra hands, and get these placed and set and fill them with dirt. So that is the plan for today and I'm so excited to have our backyard back in order because it's a mess and it has been for the last like week and our grass is dying. So anyways, very excited to get this all done and finally have a garden and then we can go buy plants and garden and I'm excited. <laughs> if you guys can't tell from this video. You sweat them with the ice cubes like you do and then the caramel protein. Kind of tastes like a coffee protein drink. That's exactly what it is. I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> you would have tried it and gone, oh. All right, guys, my mom just got here. We're going to go get working in the yard, but. Aloha. I got news for you. This hair is no longer it's gotta down. Go up. It's, it's so hot up. outside, and we're going to be in the yard all day, so. Ponytail it is. You want to say hi, pants? Ah. Okay. All I want is to say hi. This is Pantalones Cortez Cortez. 
He wears a watermelon bow tie. And he's my dog. No kiss. So I had gone to the hardware store this morning and got this plastic to lay down um, between the dirt and the rocks and the boxes because in Hawaii, we have termites because it's humid. So we're gonna lay this down first, then do the rocks. We're bringing in the boxes. We have an avocado tree trying to sprout in this corner. Honestly, this is a bigger project I think we anticipated. We kind of thought, let's build some boxes and put dirt in. You did. When I started doing the meticulous math and like designing, I was like, this is gonna be, that's why I asked you like a hundred times, like, what do you want? Cause I really don't want to do it twice. Well, it looks pretty already. It'll definitely add life to this part. It won't look like just a hole. So do you want me to round up the rocks from around the house? To lay on the bottom? Yeah. You can start laying stuff on the bottom if you want. Yeah, so those are all the extra stones that we can use to kind of fill this bottom too. And we're trying to suspend the dirt up to here so we don't have to actually go that deep. There's way too much dirt. Um, so this will help support um, the, the random dirt that will just sit in these bags that are stapled in. It's going to be hundreds of pounds of dirt. Alright, so what he said, we're just working on filling part of the box so we're not using a ridiculous amount of soil. So Sawyer's just trying to play pretty much, was it, Jenga? Jenga, <laughs> Jenga, Jenga, whatever it is, to fill these boxes up so that way I'm not, you know, buying another 15 bags of dirt. Okay, we have now built a little bottom for all of these garden boxes. So now we're gonna take the liner and staple gun it to the side of the box. And then we have our liner for our garden. Okay, so we're testing out one bed. So we're lining it fully and then putting dirt in before we do all four beds and learn a really harsh lesson. So we're gonna try one bed first. Note to self, if you guys are doing this, get center blocks and a plank of wood and build a floor. I just want to go down for it, even though it might take a little bit more dirt. That's fine. Okay, the boys are starting to work on box number two. Um, this one works great. It only took two bags of dirt, so we'll see how the rest pan out. All right, the lining is in the second box, and so is about to put the dirt in the second box. You know, during quarantine, Jeff Bezos doubled his net worth. Who did? Jeff Bezos. Who's that? The, what? The guy started Amazon. Oh, really? The richest dude in the world. Oh, at least you're not a gold digger. What did I say last night that was so funny? Oh, no, you're so stacked with humor. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> okay, box number three is lined, um, but we just ran out of liners, so I'm heading to the hardware store real quick. So Andrik has gone to the hardware store and informed me not to start on the rocks. So let's start on the rocks. Let's add some drama to this vlog. Let's do exactly what they told us not to. See, I'm a fully capable adult of doing what I'm told, kind of. Well, it looks good. This looks great. We need a fountain. That's what we need next. This is dancing. I'm not saying the girls held us back, but it is done now. I told you I was gonna make you a garden, baby. I wasn't kidding. This is better than I vlogged in my channel in a long time. Pissed. We're gonna try to get a rig this last box because we don't have any more tarps. Hey, wait, I think we got it. We got it. Hey, we got it. Let's surprise the girls. That's a good feeling. 
Finished it, baby. Oh. So I just got back from the hardware store and I didn't know Sarah was gonna do the rocks while I was gone. It looks so pretty. And I figured out the final box. Ah! Oh my gosh, babe, I'm so, I'm so happy. You like I it? the whole yard to be like this. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my happy God, anniversary, baby. I love it. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Go play in your garden. Guys, the garden is done. Um, I had ran to the hardware store to get a few things and I came home and Sawyer had finished it. I was not expecting that. I actually told him to wait so that way I could film it all, but he took it upon himself and filmed it and it looks so good. Look at the white rocks, the stepping stones. Oh, I'm so excited. I actually have little like hanging lights that are supposed to arrive tonight. So it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited to go get plants this week and start our garden. So I'm excited. This is like the first step towards getting our backyard done. <laughs> and it looks so good. Oh, I'm happy. Ollie, what did I tell you yesterday about laying in the dirt? This is not okay. Get out of the dirt, bud. <laughs>